catfish. We know it is a type of fish that has a large head and whiskers. But in the sea of social media, catfish is defined as someone who pretends to be someone they're not online. How many people have you actually caught? Five. Meet Lael. She can quickly spy. The first guy, his name is Arnold. A phony. The next guy is Joseph. A fake. Then there's Michael. A fraud. Then there is the other Michael. On Facebook. And Jason. These people are not who they say they are. This single grandma's radar for catfishing. I basically keep a lot of notes. First one up. There's lots of Michaels. Thanks to a guy named Arnold. This is Arnold. Now, I'm not going to show you Arnold's picture because we know from my colleague Andrew Adams. You've also been Ralph Brown, Brown Ralph, and a ton of names I can't even remember. Scammers steal photos from legitimate pages. Your, the name there is Bryant Rogers. Bryant That's Rogers. That's really you in that photo. Yeah. They make up any name. Eight times that I know about. And go to work catfishing women. How much money are they making off of my pictures by duping women? I'd like to find these guys. I'm sure it's some boiler room in a foreign country, and maybe they even have it storyboarded out. Now, thankfully for Lael, not even the scent of a rose. They were gorgeous. Could mask the stench of a catfish who tried to lure her. Two dozen roses? Yep, Arnold secretly sent her. Long stem roses. So then it was a few days later that Arnold messaged you and said, I sent you the flowers. And I said, you sent them. And he said, yes, baby, I sent them. So he starts calling you baby? Called me baby. Now she's learned that scammers will say anything. God is good. Like divine intervention led them to her. Love is in the air. And then they fall in love with you. I, just miraculously. They all start out saying, good morning. Thanks for the likes and the comments. They persistently message. And then they start telling me about themselves. And skillfully practice. So do you want to meet before you leave? The art of avoidance. And most of them, of course, will not want to meet you or anything. And they're quick to pop the question. Just never in person. Yeah, they've proposed to you. Two of them have. Then, like Arnold did, they pop the other question. Will you send money? Several thousand dollars. Plane tickets, car repairs, travel visas. They have great reasons to need your credit card, personal info, cold, hard cash. Did he ask you to pay the taxes? He did. He did you pay the taxes? No, I did not. Her experiment has taught her when not to accept a new friend on Facebook. Newly created pages with few posts, no mutual I friends. I kept running his pictures. Nothing popped up. And just to make sure a fake's a fake, she uses an online search tool. This is a free website. Called Tin Eye. She uploads a photo of Arnold and presto. He has 14 pages of complaints. The site connects that same photo to 200 scam warnings. He was also known as um, Ergo, Jared. It turns out Arnold is not his only name. Van, Anderson, Thomas. Oh, and those aren't the only schemes. You know, I spoke to the FBI Cyber Crimes Task Force for more schemes. They say watch out for people who claim to be deployed overseas with the military, laid up in a hospital bed, or need help transferring money for a work project. And my Facebook also tells me they work to block and remove these fake accounts, and they really do want people to report them. Now, you and I know the internet makes, the internet makes it extremely easy for people to find addresses and a lot of information on, uh, on anyone out there. So the Arnolds of the world can send you flowers, they can show up on your doorstep. I know you can find an address just like that, even more reason to be very cautious about who you friend and also make sure your privacy settings are really locked down as secure as possible. All right, great information there. Thanks, Thanks. Debbie. All right. All right, Dave.